What is up guys? It is time to talk about redemption in education. Because of our Ford Raptor big turbo video, there's been over almost 200,000 views maybe. There's been a lot of interesting comments and people saying, oh, I've got this and I've got that. Well, let's break it down for you. So we put the Garrett turbochargers on our Ford Raptor as well as the Garrett intercooler core. And then we've got, you know, cold air intake and an exhaust. And then we did a custom tune using the HP tuners device. And these turbochargers are capable of around 700 horsepower. So we did a dyno, we got massive gains, huge torque gains, something like 150 horsepower. And we did some zero to 60 times. We used the draggy device. Of course, that's what everyone used because it comes from the sky, beams up and makes all the GPS wonder. What? And we had a time of 6.22. Holy flame. I didn't realize that we were driving drag cars. So what we learned is that the Ford Raptor to get a good time zero to 60 is you need to put that in four wheel A and do a little brake boost and then give it a launch. But what's gonna determine successful times, so many other factors, fuel used, wheel size, tire size, etc., size of the driver, who knows? So our Raptor has our VR Forged one piece monoblock wheels, which are extremely light and strong. However, we are running 37 inch tires. So what that means is there's a lot more mass to move. Yeah, the weight is lighter, but you have a taller gear. Think about that. You're on your mountain bike and you're pedaling along and you're in that easy gear and it's just going like this. Well, you go down to that big gear and you are just cranking, cranking to get that power. Same thing, that's what we got going on with these big wheels. So we ran the truck again, according to our commenter here who said, hey, you need to run it like this, it'll work better. And we got a decent time. But before I tell you the time, let me tell you about some of these awesome comments. Loading, loading, still loading. These always make for a great fun day. By the way, because of your almost 200,000 views, I can now pay the rent. Right, here we go. Oh, my favorite comment that I've seen is get a Ram TRX. Well, yeah, I was going to when they first came out, but I couldn't get one. And now if you want to get one, you're going to spend a hundred plus grand on it because of markups and how crazy the market is right now. Oh, my other favorite comment is talking about the turbo. At some point, you guys see that there's a little dent on one of the inlets. Asked who dropped the turbo? We didn't. Those were shipped to us by Garrett directly in a well-packed styrofoam packing inside a box. We still use the turbos. It really wasn't worth making a claim on. It was just a small flat spot on there. No big deal. All knowing Billy, thank you. So 10K for a mild upgrade. Well, links are in the description. The turbos, they're about $3,000. The intercooler, I think $1,500. And then tuning, let's say you spend $1,000. That really doesn't equal 10 grand. Oh, Nick Charlie, ha 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 ha. What a waste of money. 80 horsepower over stock with upgraded turbos and intercooler. I think you missed it. It's 80 horsepower over what a tuned Raptor would be. Really the only mods we have on here is we've got a muffler uh, system and we also have our VR tuned ECU flash. What else do we got here that is entertaining? I could get in a stock Raptor at the dealership, not even do boosted launch and beat your times. Yeah, you could. I don't see Andretti tattooed on me. I'm not a race car driver, but you know what? I learned from somebody here. So let's see what my time was and explain the difference between this time and last time. So let's check this out. Five point four two seconds. The only difference between last time and this time is what that guy said in the comments. Four A brake boost, let it go. I mean, what did I beat the time by? A second and a half. That's pretty good, just for the difference of not exactly launching it the right way. So let's talk about the difference in the diameter of the wheels and tires, and why the overall rolling makes a difference here. So the stock wheel size is seventeen by eight and a half. 
that tire size is 315.7017. So comparing that to the one that we have on there, and I'm using a tire comparison calculator on a website I found. So there is a 7% difference in overall diameter. There's 2.4% more sidewall on the stock tires. When you look at that, the 37s are obviously taller than a 34 or 33 and a half of what this is. This means that the 37s will go 545 times per mile. They are rotating slower because there's more. Where the stocks are getting 587 revs per mile because they're able to go quicker. So most likely, if I do some math equations with the pi and the hypotenuse, that putting stock tires should probably even improve the time of doing a zero to 60, another 0.4 seconds, which is uh, not bad. So at the end of the day, we have an awesome looking truck that performs well, tows great, and has massive torque gains. But you guys are not happy with even the second test of the zero to 60 times. Well, I tell you what, we will get that thing tuned for some ethanol and we will get it launched properly. I'll even put some spacers on there so we can use the stock wheels and tires. So make sure that you subscribe. You can leave your comment, keep commenting. I love reading them, whether it's good, bad, or ugly. And make sure you check out all those parts on our website at vividracing.com. So stay tuned. We will get some more updates on the Ford Raptor as we continue to have fun with it through its life. So thank you guys. We'll see you at the next one.